Hello everyone, today I'll be painting some bases for my Deathwing Knights. I was inspired by their robes and icons and wanted to do something cathedral related. I painted some checkerboards, mosaic tiles, floor medallions, and added some marbling texture. Let's start with the mosaic pattern, which is a combination of square and hexagon tiles. After painting the bases gray, I used black to draw some parallel lines. I turned these lines into a grid. It's normal if your lines aren't perfectly straight. Sometimes you'll lose focus, your paint will be the wrong consistency, or you'll lose control of the tip of the brush. When that happens, relax, fix your posture, figure out what's wrong, and keep going. My last line here is no longer parallel, so I made the line thicker. Now the spacing's not quite right, but that's okay. I came back with the gray paint to thin out the lines and to turn the rectangles back into squares. Keep working it until it's clean enough for you to draw the next straight line. Once the grid of squares is complete, I connect it to intersection points. These will serve as reference lines for the hexagons. I blocked in the first column of square tiles with a light gray. Starting from the corner of the squares, I'm drawing in the hexagons using the midpoints of the reference lines we created earlier. After outlining the hexagons, I drew in the next column of squares. After painting in the squares in the middle, I drew the next set of lines for the hexagons. I connected the corner of the squares to the intersection points of the original grid. Because my grid wasn't perfect, the pattern is starting to turn. I corrected this by making the black lines thicker. When the reference lines become too busy and you can cover them with gray. Keep working with the black and gray until the shapes look good to you. Now it's time to paint in the tiles. I leave a thin black line around each tile to simulate the gaps or the grout line. The green that I'm using here is Scale Color Artist Sap Green. I blocked in the red tiles with P3 Sanguine Base. This pattern would look good with any complementary color, and you can choose any color you want. Choose one that matches your army. painted over some of the edges in the previous steps. Here I'm going over the gaps again to give each tile more definition. I use Vallejo model color flat red to make the tiles brighter.
Next, I highlight each tile to give it more dimension. I'm using P3 Gnarls Green and more flat red. Some thin lines right next to the black will make it look like those edges are catching light. I finished the squares with Scale Color Artist Off-White to match the models. The shapes aren't perfect and you can keep going until they are, but before you drive yourself crazy, keep in mind that you're going to put a model on top of this and people are going to be looking at it from a distance. Next, I'm working on the checkerboard pattern. It's a larger pattern so it's easier to keep the shapes accurate, but I'm using black and white here. It's usually hard to get good coverage with white. You can dilute your paint with ink to reach the right consistency while keeping the high pigmentation. Here, I'm just using two coats thinned with water. That'll be enough coverage for our next step. I'm going for a cloudy marble effect. To simulate the veins, draw some random lines with thin down gray paint. You can draw the lines in any direction and any thicknesses you want. Just do what you think would look good. Next, come back with a more intense gray and draw some thin lines within the previous thick lines, at the intersections of the lines, and anywhere else that you want. Blacks, grays, and whites might be a little boring, but if you like the monochromatic look, stop here. Otherwise, we can add some color. Here I'm using Citadel Color Drakenoff Nightshade to add a blue filter over all the areas. Next, I'm bringing in some temperature contrast with Liquitex Raw Umber ink. The color was too intense even after I pushed it around, so I came back with a clean brush and picked it up. I diluted the ink with more water, then I added this mix to some of the white marble squares. Push the pigment around with your brush until you get a look that you like. It doesn't have to look natural. After the blue and the brown, the white tiles were more gray than white, so I came back in with white to bring up the brightness. A couple coats of gloss varnish can help sell the marble effect. You can also add more color in between the layers of varnish to give the tile more depth. I used the same blue and brown wash technique on this floor medallion. I found a reference photo I liked online and sketched out the design just like how I did the grid. If there is a design that you like and you can draw it on paper, you can paint it. Just break the design down into elements composed of shapes and lines. Now, of course, the larger these elements are, the easier it will be. But the best freehand painters can paint some insane details, and they learn to do so through practice. And with that, I'm calling it done. I have another video on how I painted those Deathwing Knights. If you like them, please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed painting with me.